I have a word for you, a very powerful word. And this word is do not try to please everybody. You just can't. You can't please everybody. People will still find faults. People will still find ways or windows. If they cannot pass through the door, they will find windows in which they can leap in to criticize you, to condemn you. People will criticize you for doing what is good. They will criticize you for doing what is wrong. And they will criticize you for doing nothing. So no matter what you do, whether you have done nothing, you, have, you do something good, you will be still criticized. There are people you will never please. There are people who are just there to hate you. They just have hatred towards you. Even just by the mere look at your face, they will hate you. So you cannot please. Do not even try. Please do not try to please people. I heard of a story of a man who woke up in the morning and he decided to go out on a journey with his son. So this man uh, decided to saddle his donkey, him and his son. Both of them were seated on the donkey. And as they were going out on a journey, they reached at a place and someone saw them and, and that person criticized them. That person abused them. That's, that, that the person said, how can two people ride a donkey? How can two people be on a donkey? And that person literally was pointing fingers at them. So the man decided to get off the donkey and let his son ride the donkey as the man walked. So he, he reached a certain town and he found some people. They laughed at them. They said, old man, how can you walk while your son is on the donkey? They criticized them. So the man decided, okay, let me, let this time, let me sit on the donkey and let my son walk. So they reached at a certain point. Then a group of young boys, a group of old men criticized them. So the man was so frustrated. He said, now let all of us get off the donkey and let, 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 let the donkey be just free and let us walk as we lead the donkey to the, to, to the nearest town to their final destination. So they made a group of people and they laughed at them. They, they called them fools. They said, why can't you make use of the donkey? How can you two of you walk while the donkey is not made use of? While the donkey still walks. So the story behind it, the lesson is behind this, is no matter what you do, people will still find ways to criticize you. So do not be discouraged when you're doing something, when God has placed something in your life and there comes a critic. In fact, the reason, uh, well, an indication, a sign that will show that you are really truly blessed, that you are really doing the right thing, is when you have a lot of critics. The moment you start seeing critics piling up, the moment you start seeing people saying words against you, know that what you are doing is the right thing. Usually what you are doing is the right thing. There are some times when you, you can be criticized and you're doing the wrong thing. That one, I understand it. But there are times when you are doing the right thing, when, you, when you're doing what God told you to do, and there comes critics. An example is Nehemiah. When God told Nehemiah to build the walls of uh, Jerusalem, you know, the walls of Jerusalem were, were not in a good shape. So Nehemiah decided to build them. And there came people from all corners of the, of the world and they started criticizing them. In fact, one of them said, even if a fox walks on the walls, it will not be able to stand. 
But Nehemiah did not give up. Nehemiah and his friends did not give up. They kept on building the wall. As they kept on criticizing them. In fact, the people were criticizing them. They saw that they were, their plots, their words were not working. And they plotted to kill Nehemiah. But glory to God. God was with Nehemiah. He spoke to him. He warned him. So whatever you are doing, if it is the right thing, if you feel in your heart it's the right thing, and it is the thing that God has told you to do, do not be discouraged if people criticize you. People may talk about your marriage. They may say, why did you get married to this person? They may talk about your kids. Look at your kids. They may talk about the job that you have. They may talk about your possession. As a matter of fact, they may even talk about your ministry. But if, if it's God who has started a good work in you, then he will finish it. So do not worry about the critics. Because you cannot please any everybody. Do not try to please everybody. The only person, the only thing, the only one that you are supposed to please is God. May you please God. May you not be someone who is easily intimidated into pleasing people. Who easily does not have a foundation. May your foundation be built on Jesus. I pray that you may be able to stand firm through the storm. The scripture says when the enemy comes in like a flood, God sets a standard against him. The enemy has come in like a flood in your life through critics, through friends, through, through people who always want to be pleased. But God is setting up a standard against your adversary. And you are going to prosper. May God give you a new heart. A heart. May, may, may you be a person just like as, as David was after God's own heart. May it be you that you are after God's own heart. And never to please people. God bless you.